How's it going, everyone? Immortal Dragon Lord here, bringing you salutations from Far Harbor on my very first rare guide. And the very first thing I'm going to be showing you in the Far Harbor DLC, in terms of nice, rare, unique items, is this lovely suit of armor I'm wearing before you. <coughs> this is the Marine Combat Armor. And I must say, it is one of the nicest suits of armor I've ever seen in the entire game of Fallout 4. DLC and otherwise default. Just look at that. Just, just gaze in the wonder of the armor. <laughs> now, this is not power armor, although with this little looks like fusion core thingamajig in the back, it makes it look like it could be. But I think this is supposed to be a cross between power armor and regular armor, which also explains its, well, the weight of the armor, which I will get into in a bit. So, yeah. So, this is what the armor each looks like. The pieces of the armor look like in detail, as well as the ballistic, energy, and radiation resistance. You can feel free to look at all this if you like. Now, you can, you can modify the marine armor like every other suit of armor in the game, leather, metal, raider, regular combat armor, even uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, even the robot armor from uh, Automatron. You can modify this armor just like all that. There's also a tactical helmet, which I'll show you guys in just a second on my character. I personally prefer the uh, assault, yeah, the, the, the assault helmet better over the tactical helmet, but choice. The wet, the wet suit is also a new addition to the armor. You cannot modify the wet suit with a ballistic weave upgrade, unfortunately. Here's the left leg. The right leg. Oh, seems to have gotten a message. I'll have to look at that in a minute when I'm done with this. And here's the chest piece. Now, so normally the chest piece weighs a lot more than it does right here. Only reason it weighs uh, close to 10 pounds because I gave it the ultra light build. Still didn't quite do it as much as I was hoping for. But, uh, well, yeah, enough said. Uh huh. Alright, so in order to acquire this armor, you have to first get the quest Best Left Forgotten. This can happen when you work with the synths. Start work with the synths of Acadia, which you start from Far Harbor, speak to the companion. The DLC companion, Old Longfellow, he will guide you down the path to get up to Acadia, where you will meet Dima, who is, spoiler alert, uh, Nick Valentine's brother. You bring him along for, for this whole DLC, or at least for a majority of it, there'll be some things you can talk to him about, and etc, etc. <clears throat> so, you'll have to help out Acadia, you'll, this is also where you have to go to find Kasumi, but eventually... When you get here, you will have to find out what Dima is hiding, and then he will tell you, uh, hey, the children of Adam have holed up in this place called the Nucleus, and they have my memories. I can't send a regular agent to go do it because they'll know who they are. Can you go instead? So basically, you, you can change sides later, but you will first start by infiltrating the Nucleus, right here, the, the hideout for the children of Adam on Far Harbor, and you will have to acquire Dima's memories through a program made by another synth named Faraday, which you can get bef before you come here. Once you're here, I do not think you have to inform the children of Adam about what you know in order to get into the, the uh, secret area where the memories are, which, correct me if I'm wrong, but otherwise, you just head on in, you should be set. When you get to the end, there'll be a terminal where you will have to power it up, and then it'll basically be a simulation, similar to, uh, I don't know if, how many of you who watch my videos have played uh, Mass Effect 3, but if you've seen what Shepard's done inside the Geth Consensus, I think it's called, if I recall correctly. Uh, basically, you're, you're helping out the Geth Legion and his people, uh, basically helping them free them from the Reapers and try to form an alliance with the Quarians. But that's a different franchise. Once you, once you get to the simulation part, you'll have to unlock five memories. Each one will have a particularly interesting thing regarding the destruction of 
the citizens of Fall Harbor, and the children of Adam and the Nucleus, if you wanted to destroy either of those factions. I'm not grabbing those yet, because I don't know what will happen if I do. I'd rather get everything done first before I decide who ought to kill off. There'll be a medical facility for one of the memories. Let's deem as secrets are there. There will also be a memory where he tried to help Nick Valentine, and you discover the truth about what happened, and you can inform Nick later on. You just have to talk to him. As long as he's in Far Harbor, you can decide whether he's nicer or keeps his distance from Dima. But the last memory is the one you want. Because that will give you the location, it'll be under a miscellaneous objective to find the marine combat armor that Dima mentioned. And they'll be in three particular locations, two of which are in this region here, I believe. I know one of them's in this particular area. And then one off the coast of one of the chest off the coast of this island. And that, that's all the locations that are revealed. There's more than one piece in each. Don't worry if I don't give you the exact locations. If you get this far, the miscellaneous objective will point you to the precise locations of the armor, but you cannot get this before then. Now there are a few different variants of this armor. The first one you see is the assault armor. The assault, the assault version of the armor. But, you could also change this to, do the chest for instance, you could also change this to two particular looks for the, that are used for the children of Anna, because they have similar armor as well. You can give it the Zealot Marine armor upgrade, or tint, whatever you want to call it. It will make it lighter, but it gives it a children of Adam look, along with everything else. I do have everything else, but I just want to show the chest piece for the time being. So, so it's fine. And then you could also give it the Inquisitor version of it, which is more or less the exact same thing as the Zealot Marine armor tint, except this has the same exact weight and almost the same oh, protection, with a bit of a one point difference in the ballistic and energy resistance. You can otherwise give this the Inquisitor's Marine tip. Nothing, nothing much really similar there, I hope. Actually, those could be kind of uh, different now that I think about it. But anyway, the choice is yours. I'm going to use this arm for this character for a while. It's pretty damn cool. But I may switch back to uh, Maxim's Battle Coat. A little later on, however, because... Actually, I can show you real quick. If you take away all the upgrades that you give this armor, which I will show now, you can already see them over-encumbered. If I take away every last upgrade that's on this, including the chest, see it went from 9.8 pounds to 25 pounds, so... For those of you who want to use this armor, choose your items accordingly in terms of weapons and such, and food and everything else. And be careful what you grab for junk for settlements and whatnot, because this armor is otherwise heavy as hell. I'll show a tactical helmet too before I get rid of it. 14 pounds, 28, uh, 42, 56, 25 added to 56, that is 81. So this is already 81, 81 freaking pounds without, without the helmets, yeah, without the major helmet. If you add the helmet, that's, that's pushing over 90 pounds. So this is a pretty the decent, no, he's just talking, this is a tactical helmet. This is a pretty sick looking suit of armor. This is its problem though. Well, it probably won't be much of an issue for me once I make my second character. I'll go back to my second character, Grace. Because I'm making him more of a sniper build, and I kind of like the, uh, the Children of Adam look on this anyhow. But uh, I'll have to work on that. But, but yeah, aside from its weight, this is a pretty sick suit of armor. All I ask is that those of you who want to use the armor, plan accordingly before you get it, because it's heavy. Invest in any of the strong back perks and whatnot, and, well... Bring, so, bring a couple good weapons, but don't hoard up on them. Otherwise, you're going to have a serious problem when you do any of this. 
And that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching my first ever Far Harbor video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this video, to my channel, if you enjoyed any of this content. If you like this armor, please let me know. And, uh... Nick's trying to do a moonwalk over there, but he's failing miserably. But yeah, that, 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 that concludes the first video of Far Harbor, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much done. With that said... I'll be back with the next video, and take care.